Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. And let's take another look at a Formula One driver who only managed to get out for a race once. Yes, this is One Race Wonders episode 29 and today we are looking at South African ORW, Neville Liddell. He ain't no Neville Longbottom, but he did get a single drive in Formula One. So let's look at the life and career of Neville Liddell. Remember to subscribe and let's begin. Neville Liddell was born into a wealthy farming background in South Africa and after gaining agricultural degrees at college, began a career in racing, travelling to the UK, racing a Volkswagen at Goodwood and Silverstone in various production categories before heading back to South Africa. In 1960, with financial support from his father, Neville raced a Porsche 356 in various events around South Africa. To help progress his motorsport career, Neville Liddell's father brought him a Lotus 21 and Neville headed back to the UK, gaining experience he managed to get good results here and there before heading back to South Africa to take part in the first Natal Grand Prix. He sadly retired after putting in a respectable midfield performance. So up to 1961, we have a young and very promising race driver finding his feet. 1962 was what it was all leading up to. He raced all over South Africa and even took a victory at Kailami. He was fast becoming recognised as one of South Africa's most exciting prospects. With this success and more support from his father, Neville upgraded his Lotus to the 21. Brought from fellow South African and rival Sid van der Viva, a legend in South Africa who sadly never got to compete in a Formula 1 race. He was entered in the 1962 South African Grand Prix but damaged his car a week before and after it was damaged later in a fire, Sid van der Viva retired from motorsport, never a Formula 1 racer. The upgrade to the Lotus 21 worked wonders for Neville Liddell, finishing well in all three events of the Springbok Trophy. This was good preparation for the 1962 South African Grand Prix, taking place at the East London track. The first ever South African Grand Prix attracted six local entries as well as John Love of Rhodesia against ten of the best drivers in single-seater racing at the time. Neville Liddell was about to make his Formula 1 debut, but the focus of the race was on Graham Hill and Jim Clark, who were fighting for the title. Neville still managed to qualify an impressive 10th on the grid, not bad in an outdated 4-cylinder privateer Lotus, going up against well-organised 8-cylinder works teams. Despite a crack in his engine block and a broken steering wheel, Neville managed to survive for an impressive 6th place and a point in Formula 1. How many One Race Wonders can claim that? Sterling Moss was asked who had impressed him most and he had this to say. I would unhesitatingly choose Neville Liddell as the most promising. Considering the equipment he had in the South African Grand Prix, he did amazingly well. In 1963, Neville Liddell conquered South Africa and won the South African Formula 1 Championship, dominating the series and claiming the crown with four races left. But that was the end to his great successes as 1964 would change his life forever. First, he was injured in a crash at the 9 hours of Kialami race at the end of 1963 and severely broke his leg. This would lead to a very long recovery, during which his father passed away, leaving the family business to Neville. With his responsibility and the loss of his father, Neville Liddell retired from racing, sold the Lotus and competed sparingly. He did enter the 1965 South African Grand Prix, but failed to qualify. He would continue to enter the odd event here and there, up until his eventual death in 2019. It may not have been the career his early promise had led a lot of people to believe it would be, but to end it with a Formula 1 point to accomplish everything he did in a career that only spanned 5 years, Neville Liddell is another motor racing story of what could have been. There were many South African drivers who took part in a few Grand Prix because of racing in South Africa. Not many had the success that Neville Liddell had. Remember to check out the other 28 episodes of One Race Wonders in the playlist. Please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment with your thoughts. Thank you for watching and have a good one.